Alright guys, welcome to a, another beer review. As you can probably tell, I'm a hot, sticky mess. Coming towards the end of June, and it's just been absolutely awful weather-wise. Even though we've been getting a little bit of rain here and there the past day or so, which is very much welcomed. You knew by now that I'd be moaning about the weather and such. But, uh, yeah, so I'm in the middle of doing some housework. And I've been out shopping. Had a bit of a, an annoying day. Um, won't get into it, but uh, yeah, so I'm a hot, sticky mess. I've got things to do, so I thought I'd break it up and have a beer and shoot a beer review. Uh, my family, um, the day I'm recording this, my family went back to England yesterday. They were here for a week, my mum, my grandma, and my auntie. And they rented out a, a little holiday apartment type thing. And uh, I, I said to myself before they came that I wouldn't really drink a lot because I wouldn't, I'd be in with different company. But um, I'm not going to lie, I was on it with my mum a few times. And uh, she rarely enjoys a good German Hellers, but unfortunately she forgot to take beers with her, which is a shame. So I've been pretty much drinking every day. And um, yeah, even though I said to myself that I wanted to cut down. But you know, family were here for a short while, so you know, I'm going to indulge a little bit. And I've got a few beers that I picked up today from Beretta, which should hopefully last me the next couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, Beretta, the range is so much better now. Uh, it was great when it was initially here, um, the early earlier years. But since the beer festivals and they've opened the beer bar and they've got, you know, better distribution in Germany in general from breweries outside of Germany... Uh, they're starting to get some really fantastic beers from some fantastic breweries. And apologies if you can hear the train outside. I'm not going to close the window because it's too warm. I've already got a fan on, so you can probably hear that already. But, um, yeah, fantastic beers. And the prices are fantastic as well because they're a bit more widely available. So uh, I bought a few beers today. I bought a few beers from one of the supermarkets, which has its own little range now. And, uh, yeah... I've had this in the fridge for a little bit, didn't want it in for too long, even though it is really warm. And we're going over to a brewery that are new to me, anyway. And I think this is the only one that they've got in the um, Bolsh in Beretta right now. They might have had a couple of their beers at the festival this year, I cannot recall the name. But we're going over to the Anderson Valley Brewing Company. And these guys are based in Boonville, CA, so is that California? And uh, yeah, this is the, and it's just the name of this beer um, got me. It's the Blood Orange Goes Highway Boonville 128 Session Series Moose Crossing. Is that a moose or a deer? Um, yeah, my geography and um, knowledge of animals is quite frankly terrible. But uh, yeah, a Blood Orange Goes. That sounds fantastic. I love Blood Orange. And this is clocking in at 4.2% in a 12 fluid ounce can. So is that 355? I'm not too sure. Um, I also suck at that. So uh, sit on it. Anyway, um, I take that back. Uh, so yeah, I love the fact that there's actually like a little bit of engraving on the top of the can. You won't be able to see that. And I'm looking at the... Uh, See if there's any best before date. Best before date is 30th of the 6th, 2018. Uh, ingredients are water, barley malts, wheat malts, hops, yeast, coriander, salt, and blood orange. And there's a little bit of a spiel on the can. Uh, copious additions of blood orange during fermentation that impart tangy citrus notes and a slight sweetness to complement the salinity and tartness typically found in a goes style ale. Not sure exactly what hops they have used in this one. But, um, yeah, it's it's a Blood Orange Goes, and uh, I do love a good sour beer. So, yeah, always good to get some uh, beers from America, especially from breweries that you've never heard before. I'm sure um, even some of my British subscribers might have, well, will probably have heard of Anderson Valley, but especially my American viewers. So, uh, yeah, let's get the beer poured and see what we get using my uh, beer festival teku glass. 
Now, I'm not going to pour it all in at first, but look at that. You can hear it got a lovely snap, crackle, and pop to it. Uh, stole that off Albino Rhino, of course. And uh, yeah, that is nice and hazy. Not overly hazy, but hazy enough. Uh, are there a little bits and bobs flowing around in there? Or are they just uh, bubbles? I think there are little particulates in there. Uh, but yeah, it's a lovely lemony orangey colour. When you look at it from underneath, you get a real lemony vibe to it. But when you hold it here and look on camera, it's a little bit more darker. Nice and orange. No head whatsoever on my paw. Well, there was a head, but it dis well dispersed really quite quickly. And uh, yeah, it looks like what I'd imagine a ghost to look like, to be honest. So uh, after I've done a sip and all that, I'll see if there's any little bits and bobs at the bottom of the can and see how the beer changes. But um, yeah, so far, so good. Let's see if we can get an aroma from this one. Definitely get that coriander and that wheat straight away. There's like a slight sea salt aroma to it, but very, very slight. And then you do get actually a quite subtle blood orange sort of character. But yeah, it's got that sort of like, um, it reminds me of like um, overly uh, brewed like green tea that I sometimes get with these beers, especially I find with uh, Berliner Weisses. Um, they just, they're not my favourite sort of sour beers, it's just, they always have this like, quite unsettling, overly brewed tea flavour to them, but this, you do get that blood orange in there, it is laid back a little bit, and it is predominantly that yeast, that wheat malt and that coriander that seems to steal the show with this one, almost has like a, a slight and aroma to it. Or Hefeweizen, I should say, not Hefe. But yeah, the more I'm smelling it, the more that blood orange I can pick up. So uh, yeah, it smells pretty damn good so far. Um, so let's give it a taste. Prost. Definitely tart. Not overly puckering, though. But it is a sharp first hit. That salt lingers on the lips like you've been swimming in the sea. Definitely pick up that savoury edge coming from that wheat and coriander. It's got a very slight saltiness to it on the flavour. But underneath that, you do pick up that blood orange. But just like the aroma, it's a little bit more subtle. And to be honest, for my personal tastes, and probably you know because I was expecting this, um, it could have a bit more of a, like that sweet blood orange character, in my opinion. But with uh, best before date, that I don't think it's too old. Uh, there, there wasn't a canned on date, but for a best before date of next year. I'd imagine it is somewhat fresh, although they could have just put a really long shelf life on it. Because I don't really think there's too much that would disintegrate, especially in that hop character, because it's not a hoppy beer at all. You wouldn't expect it to be. It's about that coming together of the salt and the, the, the seasoning and the blood orange, but... You get that, like, blood orange juice. Like... Not any of the, like, the flesh of a blood orange, just purely the juice, I'd say. But yeah, it's got that sort of, like, refreshment, refreshment factor coming from the tartness of it. And, um, that, like, slight puckering. Very light beer, as you would expect with the style. And when you pour it all in, we'll just let it hang around for a little bit. See it all in there, I don't know why I bothered. Uh, it's not really changed too much, to be honest. Let's have a final sniff and a taste, and I'll give it a rating. Still smells the same. I 
and yeah, it, it still tastes the same. Don't get me wrong, it's a tasty beer, very high quality, very refreshing, crisp, clean, not overly salty, not overly puckering or tart. But I was expecting maybe a little bit more of the blood orange in there. Um, I had the Bloody L, or 2017 version of the Bloody L from Beaver Town fairly recently. And I was disappointed as well because I built it up that you get a really strong blood orange character. And I'm getting that slight disappointment with this beer. But I don't really want to hold that against the brewery itself. Um, so it's going to be a difficult one to rate this one. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's very enjoyable sour beer. Does exactly what it says in the tin. Just could be a little bit more uh, like sweet and orangey, if that makes sense. But yeah, all in all, you know, for the, the weather that we're having right now, if I was to chill this down a considerable amount more, I think I'd really enjoy it a lot more as well. But just slightly chilled down on a humid, warm day. It's going down a treat, 4.2%. It's got a lot more flavour and actual more body than you'd expect from a beer like this, so 4.2% goes. But very drinkable. And, um, yeah, in terms of a rating then, I'm going to give this one a... I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Um, it's not my favourite goes that I've ever tried. It does have that slight, like, bitter, unpleasant green tea flavour to it, very slightly. But I think you're going to get that with the style in general and the ingredients list. But, uh, yeah. Nice introduction to the Anderson Valley Brewery. If I see more of their beers pop up, I'll give them a go. Um, I'll give them a goes. Um, but, yeah. Not bad at all. So if you have tried this one, let me know folks' opinions. What other beers do you like from the Anson Valley Brewing Company? Do they do other fruity goes beers? Um, what are some of your favourite goes beers, um, especially American brewed ones? And uh, yeah, if any of uh, my friends or people I follow on a regular basis have reviewed this one, their links are down below. Check out Anson Valley and their social media links. Check out Beretta, of course, from the, which I bought this beer from. Check out my goes uh, and sour beer playlist as well. I think it's just a sour beer playlist. I think I need to make a goes playlist. And uh, yeah, just hit me up in the comments. So uh, yeah, 13 minute video. I'm back to my old self. See you guys later. Cheers.